I just like that better. It looks like it's kind of holding on to something more now. So just, you know, you can always tweak it. But once you bake it, if you hate it, you hate it. You can't really fix it. Um, do we want to make any little... Um, I could put some, like, you know what I'll do? Instead of gems, too, I'll put little, um, what color? I want to add another color, like maybe the purple. I had some purple. Uh, I love that wisteria color. This color. Where the heck is it? I used it all up. But yeah, I think I'm going to add this in little dots into the background too, just to add more texture. So I'm just going to condition this tiny little piece. And I'm getting it all pearly. I have pearl on my fingers. You can see kind of little pearl eyes. So here's what I'm going to do with this. Roll it out into a snake. just so I can get tiny little pieces. Get my stylus, so I'll probably use this little size here and just add little touches. That's one, two, three, four. Let's go with that. Little tiny pieces of clay. This is such a pretty color. I just use my fingernail to grab it and kind of get it into a little ball shape. That one was really small. And then gently just take the stylus and press down because we already made a little hole for it, it kind of just nestles into that. And now we have little hints of purple. What else could I do? Because, you know, I never want to stop. It's just so fun. I have this green up here. Ugh. I'll rub it off. Oops. Um... I think I want to add another purple over here. Purple. Can I add anything to the white? Nope. I'm just going to add one more purple up here. And I'm going to bake this. And I'll show you how. Well, I'm just going to put the bottom on. And I'll probably antique it, but see, I, I can't stop myself, like I want to do more. So right here I smushed it again. See how I keep smushing it? Because I'm grabbing the lid. So I just keep coming back and I want to open it. Oop, I didn't want to open it actually, I thought this was on the bottom, the lip. Pearl clay is so soft. It's almost impossible not to squish it. Look, I got it over here too. So just before you bake it, make sure you go back and tweak it if you have to. Um, and none of that really will hinder any, any of the design elements, but it just makes it look nice. Like if I'm going to sell these, I really want to make sure that like, I'm going to fix these dots. Oh, I think it was. Uh, first, I used that. So you just want to fix the, oopsie, little details that I squished out of it.
and when I bake it, I don't want it to be closed. I'm going to bake it open. Like I'll put a piece of tin foil or something in here to hold it open so the air can get out and um, it won't explode or something. <laughs> so I'm just remaking the circles, defining the circles a little better. That got squished. Maybe that wasn't a medium. Those were probably mediums. All right, so I should stop fiddling with it, but do I want to add, I could add one more color, the dark, dark blue, which is where? I don't have, I'm pretty sure I had it, the glitter clay, the dark blue glitter clay. I don't have any more, oh no. It's here. And here. I only need a tiny piece. So I'm going to put a couple of these and then I'm going to bake it. And, and when I bake the bottom, I put my name in it. So I use those little um, stamps to just stamp my name into the clay when I bake the bottom. But for the top, I haven't done that. I haven't done anything like that. If you wanted to add mica powders to it, before you bake is a good time to do that because it, um, let's see, do I want to go bigger? Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit of a big one right here. Uh, here, and this is already dark blue, maybe over here, but I love that swirly stuff. There's like a nice heart and swirl right there. That's not even that dark, the blue. Um, all right, I think I need to not overdo it. Actually, a piece of the light blue would re look really nice down here, so I'm going to get that really, well, this wasn't it either. I used it all up when I did the, uh, the background colors. Oh no, here it is. This is the Sculpey. Yeah, this will look really pretty in the, um, so you just need a tiny bit. And this is already soft, but I'm going to put one here and one here. See, I just closed it again. So when I open it, I just want to be careful not to squish everything. But basically, I'm done. I'm going to add a little more Oopsie. This just adds texture. And I like it, so I'm going to put one right here. And one over here. I really like that uh, that swirly, but it's all right. Because I, I like to keep the design moving. Like you can't just have it in one place. So I think there needs to be something right here. I'll try and get a dark piece of this clay. Ah. This is super dark. There we go. All right, I think I'm ready to bake. I think I've added enough gems. And I think it's ready to go. 
So I'm going to go bake this and have a snack, and I'll be back. All right, I just wanted to come down. We're in the basement. This is my toaster oven. Um, I am going to, like I said, I put a piece of tin foil that I've kind of crunched up like that. Oops. Just put it in the opening to hold it open. I just happen to put it on a tile. I bake on a tile a lot. There's, there's other ways to do it or preferences people have. I always tent my clay now because I've burnt things and I've worked so hard on them and then I burn them. So I just put a tent of tin foil over the piece, put it in there, and this is set at 250. Now I haven't, it's 275 actually, and I'm going by on the Primo, it says 275 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes per quarter inch. So that clay isn't even a quarter inch. I mean, maybe where I've doubled up with the cloud, um, but it's not that thick. I'm going to probably do it for 35 minutes, and that way it'll preheat and get to the temperature and then bake it for at least 25 to 30 minutes. So I'm going to, it is set on bake, and I'm going to turn the dial to about 35 minutes, and it's at 275. And this, uh, the, this oven, it works pretty good. It's an Oster, and I bought this because I was doing, um, when I was doing my fairy houses and things, it's a bit taller. So you have to consider that when you buy a, um, and I, when you bake clay, you really don't want to cook in the oven. So you want to buy something that's just solely for your polymer clay. Um, and like I said, this one was just a bit taller, because I have another one. Here's my other one which was a Black & Decker, and I had that for years and years and years, but it's just more short, like there's not as big of a inches wise. So, and I think they even come bigger than this, so if you're baking, you know, vases or something, all right? So I'm going to let that bake, and it's in the basement because um, polymer clay does have toxic fumes. There are polymers in it. It's not good for my bird. So I'm going to go upstairs and have a snack and then I'll be back when it's done. All right. Okay, it's baked. I love it. I really love this piece and I didn't know what the heck I was going to do. So we've got the top done. Now we need to do the bottom and I've already done the same thing. I took a piece of this clay that I had already rolled out that kind of matched the top and I re-blended it so it's a little blended out put it on there and got it all even. I cut out the notches where the hinges are. And now we're going to texture it the way we did the top. So let me see. I'm going to use the script and I'm holding it firmly. I mean, we can close it. It's alright because we can open it. And I'm pressing. I'm going to put some on the sides. And what else did we use? We used the hearts and the swirl. So put some hearts as well. Um, and the swirl. I really like the swirl when I get a good imprint imprint on there. I give it a lot of pressure. And that's basically it for the bottom. You could add mica powders, um, but I'm just going to leave it and let the clay do the talking. Uh, we're going to antique it. So I'm going to take these little uh, stamps. I have the S. Let's see. Turn it. Here's the S. And they're all lowercase, but I don't mind. I'm just going to put my name S. 
A R Oh, that was sideways. Dumb. I mean, I held the R the sideways. All right. R and another A. And then I'm going to bake this. No, 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 no. First, no, I don't. I want to bake it. I want to do one more thing to it. I'm going to take that pearl clay and we're going to make a little wave. I like the way this looks. It finishes off the bottom nicely. I mean, I think it could be just like this and it would be fine though. But we'll, we'll check. So let's just roll out some of this. Uh, this is the white pearl clay. Uh, we might need a lot. And I'm going to start making it smaller. This is so soft though. So I'm trying to be gentle as I do it because I am so rough. All right. So I have enough rolled out here that I can kind of get an idea. See, look, I already pulled this off practically. Um, it is so soft. I mean, you could use dark blue. You could use any of the colors that we used. You could put the purple. But let me see what this is going to look like. So basically, and then I was thinking you could even put a word. You know what? That would be super cool. I don't, I can't find my hope, but I have, and these were, I didn't love this because it was um, gold and not just silver. I have joy. I want to find my uh, hope, but I have this like escape. I mean, you could put a charm there, right there, but I I have other words too. You could stamp out a word in clay, in white clay, and make a little believe or something. Um, you know, here's love. So you could put, we could put gems all of which that's what I'm going to do. Because <gasps> I have all these little gems. I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, so I'm going to take this little snake. Let me turn it over and try and get it uniform or all the same width or gauge I guess or and if you guys have a I forget what they're called and I have one it's an X it's an X X something and you screw the clay out the little holes then you'll get all the same uh, width but I, I don't I don't even know where mine is uh, I never oh I have it right here it's this thing I've, I never use it, but you could put the clay in there. I'm going to try it. Why not? I have it, and but my clay is so mushy. Let's see. It's an extruder. That's what it's called, an extruder. So I'm going to get... This is a little big. I think I'm going to go with this smaller one. And... See if I remember how to work this. Oh, I just screwed off the whole thing. I don't need to do that. Because I really don't need a ton of clay. So I'm just going to take this and put it in here. Oh, I got to get that. That's what I want to do is get the that thing to go down. So see, now I'm getting it. All right, so I'm going to put this in here. Put this in the and we'll see what happens and we should get a, a uniform snake which this is a very nice snake I made here so I'll leave that in case <laughs> and I'll start squishing
And there it is. It's a little thicker than I thought it was going to be. I think that's going to go all the way around and guess what? That's it. So I'm going to take this snake. Cool. And I'll start at the back and just make a wavy line. So kind of up and down. I think it's too wide. I wanted it to be finer. I think I want to do it again. Since it was so successful and took so quick to do, I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to use a much smaller one. So I'll be back when that's done. I'm going to put that around the edge. All right. It was, it was thick. I tried to find a smaller one, but it's still thick and I don't mind it. It's okay. It's just for decoration and I think it adds something. And I am going to put a little crystal, I don't know, maybe just on the bottom row. I think like on the bottom all the way uh, all the way around so let's see I have these and I think these are probably Swarovski but I know that Hobby Lobby sells a lot of good crystals I bet you I got these at Hobby Lobby and uh, I just take them out of the bag and put them in a little Ziploc baggie and you can buy those Ziploc baggies at the craft stores too. Oops. Oop, now see, I was squishing the side. I squished that. Remember, this white clay is so soft, guys. So I'm trying to be gentle, but you know, that's not... Oh, I'm going to try and I'm going to hold it like this. There's a... I'll do less damage that way. And I'm just pressing these into the clay using a pencil. Oopsie. All right, so I'm going to go around ugh, the whole thing and just place them on the bottom and try not to squish it. And then I'm going to bake it and I'll come back and we'll probably antique it. And I'll show you how I do that. All right, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, you guys, it's all done. Now, there's one problem. My husband just came home and he looked at it. I said, look, look what I made. Oh, it's the beach with a sand castle and a dragon, and there's the water. So, I mean, either way, I was kind of going for a cloud, but that's a huge cloud. So, I probably should have made the cloud smaller, but I wanted to get the mirror in there. But, it is what it is. It's still pretty. I really love all the, the bling on the sides. I like it. Alright, so. Now, to get all that texture that we created with our stamps to show up, we're going to put antiquing on here, that being paint, and I'm really just going to, hmm, I think I'm going to use Payne's Gray, yeah, um, and I'm going to get it, let's see, is this, no, that's not Payne's Gray, hold on, hold on, it's like a dark dark blue color I have still have stuff over here um let me get a paper towel a paper plate because I really want it I'm gonna dilute this I have a little thingy of water here and I just want to get it wet so that it's not too hard to rub off and I have you know what I should put rubber gloves on I don't want to get paint all over me um sorry I just have these because they're handy to have and I don't feel like getting paint all over me so I am going to put paint on and we'll pull it off with a paper towel I'm gonna open it and do it Let's do, let's do the bottom first since that'll be easier. There's nothing really to worry about on the bottom. And I'm going to just cover the whole thing because it's diluted. 
and I got to give it a chance to set in there a little bit to dry. It might be too diluted actually. See again, this is something I'm not an expert at, uh, but <clears throat> maybe it's too diluted. I'm just going to do the whole thing. See, this is my impatience. I am an impatient person. And, you know, I'm not perfect, guys. What can I tell you? But those of you who are patient might want to take your time. <laughs> it's just that I really diluted it, so I don't think it's going to stick too strongly. I think I'll be able to get it off. It's not that big of a surface either to worry about. Now, the one thing is, you know, my cloud's going to be a little dingy looking. But look how cool that looks. All right, so now I take a wet paper towel. It's not wet. I wet it and then I squeeze the excess water and just wipe it gently. I don't want to wipe it all off. You can still see the hearts, my name. And see, I kind of, I don't want to take it out of all those nooks and crannies. I want to get it off the surface, but I think I'm going to let it sit a little while on the surface before I wipe it with really hard pressure to get the white clean. So like in these, I have Q-tips always. I'm going to clear this out because I really love that uh, the way that mirror looks so I'll clean those holes out but I, I don't mind that being filled although I don't know but I want to wipe off the white after so I gotta let this kinda dry a little bit because it definitely was too wet But who says, you know, who says it's too wet? See, if it starts coming out of the, <clears throat> if you're not able to see the words that you put on there, what's the point of, you know, wiping it all off? That's all. So you, you kind of need to leave it on and let it dry a little bit. That's what I'm getting at. But if it doesn't go in every nook and cranny where you made a, um, where you stamped, it's okay. See, like you can still see the hearts. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna let it be minimal, minimal, and that's just the look I'm gonna get with this one. But I am just letting it sit on there for a minute. I just don't want my clouds to look dingy. So that looks good. And a lot of like I ha I don't always antique everything. I kind of like the color of the clay to take center stage. I don't know. I, I've this has been a love-hate relationship for me with antiquing. Um, I didn't used to do it at all. Then I kind of started doing it. OMG! I just sorry. I just thought about micro beads. I want to add micro beads to something that I make. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna wipe my hands now because I have paint all over me. See, this is why I wear gloves. But that's it, guys. So what do you think? It kind of looks like the beach, and it kind of looks like a cloud. <laughs> so I'm going to make another clay thing tomorrow. I'm thinking I'm going to, let's see. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to use the mold 
to make a face, an angel face up there, and swirls and all types of, maybe I'll use boho colors. I'm not sure. I've been doing a lot of the blue backgrounds, like for sky and, and sea, so I want to try new combinations. Um, you know, maybe I'll use the um, opal clay that I got out today that I didn't use uh, on the angel and see what that looks like. I love it. You never know what you're going to get. Just play and let me give you, I think we're good. I think I've wiped off. See right here, where did that come from? So there we go. I'll clean it better once it's all dry, like the paint's dry. I'll clean the gems. But I like it. I think it turned out cool. I really didn't know what I was going to go for. And, you know, a little disappointing that he thinks it looks like a beach. But I think it's cool. See, you can see. Let me go in a little closer. So you see all those stamp marks we made. <clears throat> if I just wipe the surface to get that white clean, that's all the... And our gems are still definitely shining. Just wipe a little bit of the cloud. see I mean there's still some places that I wish I hadn't um, taken it off as much but I think I'm just gonna leave it but as I say that like I just want to see if it gets on those hearts I think it did I think it definitely Maybe you could even dry brush it, or you could use um, Inca Gold, which is like a creamy paste, or uh, what's the other one in the tube that I love? Oopsie. Rub and buff. But I think, you know what, let me use a dry, like my, my rag. That might be a better idea. I like it. And it gets the surface clean, but it doesn't go down in the nooks and crannies as much. Yeah, you can definitely see the um, the details that we added with the stamping. Ooh, my book almost fell. I'm jiggling my table a little bit. So that's it. And then you know what another little trick is to do? We have a lot um, <clears throat> of bling going on on here. But on my, like, let's see. I have to dig it out of here. On these under the sea ones, I added glossy accents to the seaweed to kind of make it shine. Make it look wet. Um, so you can do that. There's just a lot of bling on here already, so I'm not that concerned about it. Um, yeah, definitely clean these up. I like the way that looks with the mirror under there. I don't know. What do you think, guys? You like it? I think it's cool. I put a little red, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a red Sharpie, because this is alcohol ink, and I'm going to give my dragon a red eye. I 
could have made him breathing fire, right? He, he could have a red eye or a yellow eye. It's kind of rubbing off. Can't really see it. It's very subtle. Um, Alright, so what else? I could put a little purple flag or something. Because metal, with alcohol inks, you can change the color of your metal charms. What else could I do? Like I said, the mica powders. Um, but here's what I was talking. I think my dog wants to go out. Kirby, what are you doing? Where did I put the glossy accents? Here it is. Um, so you would just take a little bit. Kirby? Sounds like she's scratching at the door. I don't know. I'm hearing things. Just going to put a little bit of glossy accents out and take. I have a little paintbrush. Uh, here it is. Just take it and add it to little places. basically it. I think I'm going to call it done. Alright you guys, so tomorrow I'll be back or if, well, yeah, I think tomorrow. I think it's supposed to rain, so that would be perfect. Um, but I like it. I think it turned out cute. I think he's a little up high. I wish I would have put him down a little bit and centered him more, but it's cute and my name is right there. Recycle your Altoids tins. Alright you guys, thanks for watching.